I have just traded out to my Louis Vuitton Capucines BB in the black with silver hardware. Good morning. We are up and ready. Uh, my husband and I have a couple of meetings to hit this afternoon. So I'm going to go now, do a couple of errands and upload yesterday's vlog, so Monday. And uh, yeah, so you're going to come with me. I am a little flat this morning. I have just <laughs> put a bit of a rant on Instagram about regarding my Birkin. I just um, really over all of the antics and I think I want to make a whole sit down video about it so if you saw that post on Instagram it was not specific uh, sorry it was not to people that you know maybe don't like the bag that's fine like they don't oh I don't like how it looks with the veins or whatever that's fine I wasn't t talking about those people I was talking about people actually in this Lux community, whether it's on Facebook, purse forums, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Um, it's such a huge community now and that was my point. Anyway, I'll talk more about it in a sit down video, I think. Uh, just let me know what you think in the comments below if I should. You guys are going to come with me. I just changed out to my Capucines BB from my Birkin because it's just easier to run around with meetings. And yeah, so let's go. I just wanted to also say thank you so much to everyone who's asked how I'm liking uh, this car, <laughs> how we're liking it, and we are loving it. I definitely have to tell you that I, I feel very much like a soccer mom in this car, <laughs> in this car for sure, because um, obviously it's a lot bigger. My baby loves soccer so we have we have at least two soccer balls actually in this car so i i honestly feel like a soccer mom because it's it's true you know we've got soccer balls in the car so how much more real can you get than that right my postal lady the lady the lady that helps me at the post office is so sweet oh my god her name's yasna so when i first met her like years ago that I've had my PO box here. She met me and she was like, Jerusha, Jerusha. Oh, can I call you in my language? We would say Yerusha. So she calls me Yerusha. I guess you can call me anything you want, yes? So she calls me Yerusha. So every time I come in, and then my other postal lady, Rebecca, who I'm actually, I I know her. I know her, um, her husband really well, like as in friends. And, um, Rebecca laughs every time. Beck just is on the floor laughing because she's like, oh, hi, Yerusha, because she, Rebecca's like as Aussie as they come. So she's like, ah, that's so funny. She calls you Yerusha. <laughs> okay, we are home. I just met up with mum really quickly and did some errands with her. She took a blog post for me coolest blog post next to Mexicana where there's big angel wings you'll see that on Insta but yes we're home let's go get the boys I can hear someone's ah! I'm locked out oh that was last night hi boys Good morning, Daddy. Oh, cute outfit. Did Daddy dress you? He did. Good morning, vlog. Good morning. Uh, Mushy. Good morning, vlog. Good morning. fever again. You do? Mm. <laughs> What's with screaming? I don't know. Dada. Dada, push. Good job. Dada. Oh my gosh! 
What's with this little scale? This is my Spanish melon. It reminds me of the old country. <laughs> wow. It's so is, that, beautiful. Is, that it's, is that what it's called? Wow. 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 More? 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 Yeah, you can yeah. have more. Come here. Spanish melon. Where does it where does it originate from? The old country. More? Okay, let me get more. This is actually from Spain. <laughs> Hence why it's called Spanish Mo? Okay. Let me get that. Here you go. And I thought I'd prepare some for the road, you know? Yeah. That's cool. So we'll drop soup and then Masi closed it in this. We'll drop soup. I might just pick up to do a blog post. How long do it take to lock load? 34 seconds. Oh really? Yeah. Has that changed your life? No. I got an idea. Are you going to go to Nana? Nana. 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 He's saying kiss. Kiss me. Okay, get Quince. Come on Quince. Quince is going home to Grandpa. My dad was like, bring him back. He like summons him to come back. My husband would like to tell you the story of what happened at the kindy yesterday when mum and I went to the kindy. I dare not to repeat that story. Repeat the story. I am not repeating the Please story of how someone told your mother that you may be pregnant. <laughs> I am never going to repeat that story. <laughs> that of story. how she said, oh, no, no. She's not pregnant. And the lady was like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. The lady said, is I, she carrying her second? I will never repeat this story. So, should I do a little interview with you? An interview? What do you like most about the two of us working together on properties? Like, what's the one kind of thing that you like? Our communication. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's being serious. So truthfully, what do you think is the best thing about what we do when we work together on property? Like, what what's the best attribute? The best attribute about working together is that um, I can't pinpoint one particular thing because there are so many. Oh! Um, once the decision is made that we're going to take a particular path, it's heads down and it comes together very, very quickly. Yeah. And we go there and we have an understanding. I, thanks to you, I have an understanding of design now. So I am capable of putting things together, listening to you, not questioning things too many Totally. Times. And then you're slowly, slowly believing in me. Otherwise, I would be micromanaging every, like, every single source I would be micromanaging so I'd be micromanaging the marble where it comes from whatever but I that's not it at all yes I actually thought that too is that we do like um, that we have like very good scheduling I feel like together for example I was thinking about the apartment in in the other block number whatever nine yeah. and how long it's taken and I feel like we go in there and we just kind of because I think you've taught me and you are such a clear director in time is money and money is time and time and pro good product versus money versus time versus you know that whole layout that you taught me yeah and I just was kind of like god they've been renovating that forever but that's a long time isn't it Jeez. And we're very fortunate, like, we don't realize we've got all the trades. We yeah, trust we've already we got our, yeah, so we don't yeah. need to outsource the foreman when we... don't need to get we... three quotes for plumbers, three yeah. quotes for electricians, no, three quotes true. for tilers. But I think that's after ha doing so many different jobs and do having a portfolio grow, we now have grown a team yep. that we don't need to get contract in a foreman that's going to manage it. Very true. 
great chat, darling. Yes, darling. Is there anything else you would like to tell the vlog? Can you put your chin down a bit? <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to tell the vlog today? No, I think they already know what I have to do with. <laughs> Would you like to tell the vlog how you got me cable optic fibre and that's how they're watching my videos so speedily? I did. So just in case someone doesn't know, Speak or some up. of you that don't know, I climbed out the window on top of the roof with my binoculars to look at our building at the restaurant just so I can shoot optic fibre internet through these particular antennas that one of my customers have so that my wife could have super high speed internet and she he was wondering <laughs> that my husband's gone crazy what the hell is he doing on our roof so hopefully soon I will be able to do that so she can do it from the um, so she can do it from home but at the moment we've got tenants and the restaurant and the furniture store next door. So I wanted to get optic fiber and I was so excited for Jerusha to be able to go to the restaurant and upload very, very high speed internet. Darling. No worries. It's, also, it's literally <laughs> life changing for YouTube. Yeah. Life changing. Yeah. I would love to renovate our house. It's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So nice. And the taps. Great price. Beautiful. Well, you have to get all the taps exactly like that. Well, the taps for the bathroom. You get the taps for the bathroom and mix up? No. Got all the codes. <laughs> quote of the day. You have to give a quote of the day every vlog. Every day? Yeah. Wow. Do you think you're capable of something like that? A quote every day. Yeah. Like my life is full of quotes, so it's just a matter of thinking. They just roll off the tongue. Some ready. Okay, cool, you're ready. Double sitting in the back of the apartment. The toilet seat. How big is the goddamn car? How much bigger of a car do you want to like fit stuff for our work? Seriously. What's your quote of the day? K for... <laughs> okay, okay so we chose yeah. K. The round one. Uh, the round one. We're going to do an OOTD. Yes, we are in a bathroom renovation centre. Because we're bored. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> My key Australia Desi Perkins fades in black. I'm wearing my Sean Felice t shirt. I'm carrying my Capucines BB in the noir. I'm wearing my Gucci leggings. Psych! Zara leggings. And I'm wearing my Adidas Zulus, or whatever they're called. This is my amazing Marmont phone case. Do you want to do it at OOTD? As Zara Spencer. In the gunmetal grey. Gunmetal. Is it? Not? Yeah, you're wearing, wearing my um, Sportscraft. Sportscraft pants and my brown Haviana <laughs> flip flops. Flip flops. 
um, belt is here truly from I don't know who. Esprit. 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 Are you wearing any watches? And jewelry? we've got uh, David Beckham's on. <laughs> Wedding, <laughs> married, <laughs> married. <laughs> yes. locked down, but also maybe still available for a fun, for a fun night out. <laughs> <Call me. laughs> no falafel for chips. You didn't order falafel. You got for two. You got two. We have just stopped in for a little. A little bit of Lebanese. Lebanese. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. This this is a yummy salad dish called fatouche. This is some baba ganoush. Some pickled pickled vegetables and some flatbread. This is yummy chicken. Skewers and this is lamb skewers and where is our falafel? Don't need it. <laughs> so he ordered chips instead. Yum. <sighs> okay, we just got home. Quite tired. But I just wanted to sit here for a minute to finish this vlog. Um just sitting here and giving you a, uh, I guess, kind of a rundown of what happened this morning for me to post that Instagram post that I did. Uh, I've had a lot of like worried subscribers and worried friends in the Lux community sort of email me or DM me just saying, you know, they're going through some of the same sort of thing, like just, you know, not it's not specifically to do with pre-loved and as I said in the beginning of this vlog like I totally want to do a video on it that's fine I'm going to explain to you what happened to get that post basically I want to send this Birkin away uh my gorgeous friend Sabina um who is my authenticator and Sabina she's in the love community and she's a huge um, authenticator reseller of luxury goods and mostly Hermes Birkin bags and um, Evelyn's and you know Givenchy Antigona's and all different types of Chanel um, she, she's just very very educated in what she does anyway she put me on to she authenticated this for me when I bought it and I told her exactly what I was after and you know this this came up and I showed her and she was like, yep, it's perfect. It's exactly what you want. It's got a little bit of damage to it, which I knew and I knew from the listing, but she was like, you can always contact um, these people. They're called leather surgeons and they will reglaze and re, you know, stick anything, uh, sorry, stitch anything back together um, if you would like it to be done. They make bags pretty much like they can make bags back to like new, cleaning them and whatnot. So basically it makes them like a spa. So I knew that I had the contact for that and I knew to contact them. I looked them up on um, Google and I looked them up on like the purse forum and things like that to see other results that they had done sort of as like critiques or whatever. And that's where I came across like you know, threads about like um, pre-loved Birkins, pre-loved Kellys by Hermes and the debate of like, you know, b you know, being being able to buy them brand new and you shouldn't be able to, you know, buy them pre-loved or whatever and you should be on the wait list and like everyone else and all this kind of crap. So that's what I posted that because I just was over it after I read the threads and stuff I was just like you know what like, I could just hate this shit and the worst part about it is half of those women or men who are on those sites talking about that crap are like how do I put it in the luxury and they're also like this luxury community crap like okay we don't know what else to call it especially here on YouTube like 
we're a community. There is a huge, huge amount of us and there is more joining every day who like to show their purses and show their luxury items and do hauls and, you know, talk and show their luxury items. These are big spends and we're enthusiasts and that's what this like community or group of people is outlined as. So that's why we say luxury community. This luxury community on YouTube is tiny compared to the size of it on Facebook, on, you know, the purse forum and on all these other groups and, you know, chats and things like that. And even on Instagram, there's so many silent participators just because I sit down and make a YouTube channel but bloody 200 years ago and I've been doing this bloody gig for so long and it's just ridiculous now, like so long back I am OG. That is what I am here to tell you. I am like from the OG days back when it was like me, the Lux Babe, BJ Taylor 02, Lady Vogue, X Ray GG, Hello Bean Me, Jade Vintage. It was like literally just us. That's it. I can name those same YouTubers. And the difference is, is we put ourselves out there. We put ourselves on camera. We show you our lives. Whereas all those other people in the Facebook groups and everything, yeah, they buy brand new Chanel and brand new Hermes and they talk about it and they swap information, but they don't show their face. So that's why I feel like, you know, then they just go and they like you know, have their opinion or whatever and they think like they're the police or they're the authority on things you can do. And it's just... It's so unenjoyable. I feel like it just ruins the enjoyment for everyone. It's just, oh, anyway, I've just had a real rant today about it. Trust me, like I haven't stopped talking about it with, you know, other friends of mine and just how they feel about it. Um, yeah, it's very specific though. As I sort of mentioned on Instagram stories, if you saw that, I wasn't talking about people that commented they don't like this bag. If you don't like this bag, that's fine. And you, you know, prefer it to have less veining than mine has. Mine has so much veining, heaps, because the cow had that, okay? It's not done. That is what the leather looks like. Everyone always asks what it is. And that's what it is. And no, it won't go away after leather surgeons do any spa on it. It just will be cleaned up and everything like that. Because this is so vintage. You know what I mean? This is so smooshy and so well loved. And that was how exactly how I wanted it. I didn't want it brand spanking new so that I would be scared to use it. And I told you that in my unboxing. So that's my little spiel. I just wanted to go over it. While I am here, I will say bye to you guys. Mussy is with my mum still. I'm being dropped home from the park. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.